Last video, I used Dolphin Emulator on my iPhone, and a lot of you were interested in how I did it. So today, I'm going to show you how to get Dolphin Wii Emulator on your iPhone. And the best part is, it doesn't need to be jailbroken. Uh, Dino, you can't do this. Nintendo's gonna take the video down. Nintendo, if you're watching this, please keep the video up. It's the season of giving, and I'm just giving the people what they want. And the Wii is 19 years old anyway, so get over it. But here's what you need to get Dolphin Emulator. An iPhone, computer, a cable to connect your iPhone to your computer, iTunes, side Loadly, Sticks Debug, which you download from the App Store, do that right now, iDevice Pair, Get More RAM, in this economy, the Wii or GameCube ROMs you want to play, and Dolphin Emulator. Everything you need is linked in the Google Doc in the description. I'm installing Dolphin the manual way, which means downloading it to my computer, then uploading it to my iPhone. But if you've sideloaded apps before and have side store, it's available there. Once everything is installed, run the iTunes installer and keep iTunes open. Now get your cable and plug your powered on phone into your computer. Once your phone shows up in iTunes, click cancel if it asks you to update, run the iDevice Pair EXE, click load, and click install under the Sticks Debug option. If you didn't get Sticks Debug from the App Store, like I told you to, install it first and then do the iDevice Pair. Once that's done, you can close it, but keep iTunes open. We are now going to install Dolphin and get more RAM with Sideloadly. So install Sideloadly and open it. By the way, this method only works if you leave a like on this video, so leave a like just to be safe. With Sideloadly open, get out your cable and plug your phone into your computer. Now, all you have to do is drag these IPA files and install them. So the non-jailbroken IPA, that's Dolphin. So we're going to drag this here and then type in our Apple ID. You need to use an Apple ID because of the way we're installing these apps, but Sideloadly does not store this information anywhere. And then after you type it, you can click start and it's going to ask for your Apple ID password and then click OK. And there you go. That's the first app installed. Funny enough, we're actually going to have to install this again. You'll see why later. But now drag in entitlement, which is the get more RAM and install this. And there you go, both things are installed. And if you look on your phone, you'll see Dolphin and something with no icon, which is the Get More RAM. So now on your phone, head over to Settings, Privacy and Security, and go all the way down and make sure to turn on Developer Mode, which is needed to actually run the apps. And now go back over to the apps, and you'll notice when you click it, you get a pop-up saying Untrusted Developer. So what you have to do is head over back to Settings, go to General, VPN and Device Management, and then click where it shows your Apple ID, and then click Trust, Allow. And there you go you'll now be able to oh Oh, now that you have dolphin and get more ram open get more ram go to settings sign in with your apple id go back to app ids refresh select dolphin ios and press add increased memory limit this enables the fast memory option in dolphin ios for improved performance after doing this you need to reinstall dolphin the same way you did the first time so delete it and plug your phone into your computer again redrag the dolphin ipa and install it with that done you can plug out your phone and now it's time to set up dolphin sorry about the bad video quality but now you want to open sticks debug hey guys editor Tittle here i didn't show this part but when you open sticks debug for the first time it asks you to add a VPN configuration so I wanted to let you know that is a normal pop-up and that's something that you have to do and because we already installed the pairing file you don't need to manually add it so every time you use dolphin you need to have JIT enabled and that's what this app does so instead of just opening dolphin you want to open this each time and then go to connect by app and then select dolphin OS and this is how you'll open dolphin you of course need to find ROMs and then download them to your iPhone but after you got your game click the plus icon and then locate wherever you had them installed to by clicking this drop down so it's probably going to be on my iPhone and then you can go to wherever it is find the game click it and then select move and there you go the game is now there I have NBA live 2005 I don't even know why I have this on my phone but okay then and then dolphin iOS does support Bluetooth controllers so you can head over to settings and then controllers and then depending if you're using a GameCube game or a Wii game you'll choose which one of these you want to change configure and then when you have your controller connected you would go to device and then choose the controller and then you could adjust all the settings I hope you enjoy using Dolphin on your iPhone and comment below what iPhone model you have and how it performs for you. If you want to see me rate Dolphin iOS performance, click this video here. Bye.